All right, I want to make a real quick video about repeated operators and addition subtraction. I want to start this though by having you simplify a few things for me. Do me a favor, and I'm going to write down three things here, and I just want you to uh, simplify what these things are worth. Uh, that, so there's number one, here's number two. Uh, number three, I'd like you to simplify, we'll say uh, this. And we'll leave it at that. So pause the video and write those down and then try to write them each of these things with exactly one sign. So instead of having two, just write one of them uh, or just, just write, write that value with one. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, welcome back. Hopefully now you've written all of these things down in a simplified form. The negative of negative three is what? Positive three. The negative of positive four is negative four. And the positive of negative 5 is negative 5. You can simplify these repeated operators as if they were multiplication. A negative times a negative makes plus. A negative times a plus, a positive, makes negative. A positive times a negative makes negative. Um, when we see these in addition subtraction, we'll see it in something like this. We'll see maybe negative 7 minus negative 3. All right? Um, here's how I deal with this. I turn it into something easy. So first, I simplify the part I don't like. I don't like this, so I simplify that. What is this worth? It's the negative of negative 3, which is worth positive 3. So I write that down, and then I bring down my 7, my negative 7. Now, this is something that's easy for us. Okay. So do me a favor and try these next three or four using that same method. We've got... Uh, Oh, there's the bell. Seventh period is starting. That, and we'll have you also do uh, negative six plus negative five. Uh, just knock out those two problems real quick. Pause the video, knock those out, and then come back and see if you got them right. All right, welcome back. Again, first we simplify the negative of negative two is positive two. We bring the five down, and now it's an easy question. The positive of negative 5 is negative 5. Now these things are both negative, and we're combining them, so they're going to get along, which means they're going to add up, but they're negative, so it's going to be a negative result. 